I mean, simply we're sitting in the classroom talking to students about the whole idea of diversity and uh, some kind of engagement in this project. And one of my students, Eric, was sitting over there and he was wearing his converse that were painted with some characters from Star Trek. And it sort of became a point of departure. I think Grant, in reality, was not important as canvas, you know, just, just material that you can paint on. And uh, I think students uh, picked up this idea that top, uh, what do you call high tops, right? Converse allow you to basically decorate uh, greater areas with a pretty thing. There's a deeper strata to it, like, you know, there are different layers how, how this is organized. We're working through with uh, donations from uh, corporate sponsors. We're working from, from donations from students on campus. We had uh, one of the four bins in different areas at the university. We've been talking to uh, faculty also, so faculty was very generous, different organization on campus. I, do, I think the key is, is that we don't want to stress that it's just coming from, I think he said it well, not just one corporate source. It's not just coming from Converse. Converse is being very generous and they're going to be donating 500 pairs of shoes to us, but we definitely are going to be, we have been collecting shoes from faculty, staff, uh, and students as well as members of the community and uh, we really just need as many shoes as possible because we are supplying shoes to very needy uh, children and adolescents ages 1 through 17 in three different orphanages in and around Port-au-Prince, Haiti um, and they need as many shoes as they can get so uh, wherever we can get the shoes we can, we'll, get, we'll take the shoes so that's that's what we want to stress. You know, museum, museum as, a, as a cultural hub on campus allows us to bring different people. We, we've done it in uh, settings like uh, Graham Center Gallery, where it was sort of an open, open forum for people here. We're going to work uh, with different institutions that are affiliated with museum. And also, it is an art project, so it is something what uh, finds at home in an institution like museum. I just really want to say that this is, you know, the concept, the acronym ta tag is the art of giving and this is really, uh, really emphasizing, especially, especially to our young students here at FIU, is that teaching them that this is taking, taking a, an art lesson or taking, a, an educate, taking education out of the classroom and really, as he said, showing that you cannot do any, anything really by yourself. You really do need to collaborate. It may appear from a very kind of perfunctor look that this is a very trivial exercise. Kids are, or people are decorating shoes and this is a fun activity, but really the seriousness of this comes that we have to create some kind of structure as a community to figure out how to uh, solve or attempt to solve a problem that exists somewhere in our neighborhood, in our vicinity. And I think that's, that's more of an importance as art making here to me than putting physical marking on the shoes. But I've noticed that people really appreciate the activity of art making, which is uh, an interesting kind of aspect here where you would see people who would, say, who would tell you, I, I have only 30 minutes of time here to sit down with you, and they would spend two hours working on the shoes because they were basically, uh, I think, fascinated with the zen-like activity of putting dots on the shoes, which, which is probably, I think, uh, very rejuvenating in some way when you don't have time for anything, when you're running, when you're always uh, uh, basically looking at your calendar and you're thinking you know I need to do this and that and here you need to clear your particular time and you sit in the community with the art students with little kids who came over with graffiti artists from over town and then we're talking about some kind of idea exchanging conflicts I think that was that was cool but, you know I mean that's basically it we don't want to say too much but we'd rather let the, let the art speak for itself rather than us just talk, talk have our words say I really have a look at it and, and speak for it but uh, but anyway, that's, that's it. I would like to see smiles on kids' faces wearing their shoes. Well, let's see.